I can go over there. Yes, I know. Kevin? The other thing is the fact that, Dan, you have done uh, an Inside the Octagon, which I think you recorded yesterday with John Gooden for the UFC, about the Tyron woodley Darren Till fight. Now, obviously, you can't tell us what's in there, but just give us the gist of what you were talking about looking forward and breaking down that fight. Um, well, it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating one because, like, Tyron Woodley, interestingly, has fought... Uh, well, his last six fights have been against Southpaws. Five opponents in six fights, all Southpaws. Don Young Kim, Robbie Lawler, Kelvin Gastelum, uh, Wonderboy twice, and then Damian Meyer. And defending his belt, obviously he's fought Wonderboy twice and Damian Meyer. They've both been specialists, but but they've both been specialists in a range that they can't get to if Tyron Woodley doesn't allow them. So Wonderboy, as you know, he's a counter fighter. He really needs Tyron Woodley to be aggressive, and he, and he's not. He's not that kind of fighter anymore. He used to be, and I do talk about that in the show. And I I, I showed some of his old Strike Force footage, which. A lot of people won't even realize his first five fights he won by submission. You know, he, he was a very aggressive wrestler in the early days, but then when he started to run into a higher level of opponent, he, he just started to kind of, I, I guess, edge his bets on, on on the things that he felt was stronger because he knew if he wrestled hard and he failed, then he would be tired and then he would be sloppy in his strike and he would get picked off. So he started to be far more economical and. Honestly, he's got two things that he's very good at. It, it's, it's wrestling. His takedown defense is is absolutely incredible, and his right hand can decimate anybody in the division. And the two guys that he fought, he was able to hold them both off. But Darren Till's a different kind of fighter. He's going to test his striking game. He's going to, uh, you know, he's going to allow Tyron Woodley to wrestle if he wants to because um, it's going to wear him out. He knows it's going to wear him out. He had a reputation in strike forces having a you know six minute gas tank. So. I think there's going to be Darren Till's going to kind of lean on that and, and just maybe burn the first couple of rounds. But th- there are a lot of things I talk about in the show. To be honest, we normally we try and get it under 27 minutes so TV channels can pick it up if they want. But it was 40 minutes yesterday <laughs> when we recorded. It's just so much it. to talk about. So we, we'll have to cut a lot out of it, I'm sure. But um, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I really hope people check it out because it's a fascinating fight. Am I right in thinking that if Tyron Woodley watches this then, he might be a little upset with you, Dan? Oh, he's going to be tweeting at me again. He's done it. What he's done it once in the past. He was very upset about something that I said. Uh, you know, the thing is, he's very good at what he does. Yeah. But you know, if if, if MMA is a multi-dimensional sport, Tyron Woodley's mastered two dimensions, and that is range management with his wrestling and the knockout punch with one with one shot. Mm-hmm. And 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 he's only got that with his right hand. He doesn't really use his left hand at all, apart from to set up his right hand. His takedown defense is phenomenal, but but he shuts people down to the point where they have to deal with his right hand, but he doesn't really throw it very often because it's like a nitrous bottle, you know what I mean, on a car. He's got that one button, and when he presses it, it's going to take him at least two minutes to recharge because he's that kind of athlete. And Darren Till can kind of the the only thing Darren Till's got to overcome really are the scales for me. If he steps on the scales at 170 and and he's ready for championship fights, then happy days. But it, it, it's got to be a pace thing in this fight. He's got to keep Tyron Woodley working in order to wear him down. Otherwise, it'll just be a stalemate like uh, like we saw against against Woodley and against uh, Wonderboy and Maya. Logan Paul, you ready for this? Is this going to hurt everyone's feelings, especially my hardcore fans or UFC and boxing fans? You ready for this? Logan Paul has more of an athletic background than CM Punk. He has an actual high school credentialed background in sports. CM Punk does not. Two famous guys showed you how easy it is to promote and sell a fight. It is not rocket scientists. No one is skilled at doing this. You, we give way too much respect to these promoters. They are not that skilled. It's very obvious who should be fighting, what fight to make, how to build a fight. When a fight does not sell, that's when you realize how shitty a promoter is. Whenever there's two headline UFC fighters, both those guys are so fucking talented, it's not even funny. For those fights not to sell, should not rely on the fighter. That's where the promoter and the marketing of the business of the UFC or name whatever boxing promoter you want should come into play. It is not the responsibility of them them being the fighters. But for these two guys with zero background to shit 
on any UFC fight this year, numbers wise, shows you how poorly of a job the UFC is doing at times and how easy it is to promote a fight. But again, you're going down a tricky road because now someone in the UFC office is watching this going, that Logan Paul looked pretty good. <laughs> Shit. How much does he weigh? How much does Logan Paul weigh? Oh, I guarantee you're, you're batshit crazy. If you don't think in the UFC office this morning, someone went, <clears throat> I'm, I don't know if they have staff meetings or how the fuck it works there, unless Dana just comes in and everyone's all quiet like it's North Korea. But if if they have a staff meeting, you're crazy. Someone there goes, ah, we're just spitballing ideas here. I'm just, can I, can I say something like, uh, Greg, go. Did, who, did anyone see the Logan Paul fight? Like, yeah, I sure did. He didn't look terrible. He did not. What numbers did they do? Uh, better than any card we've had this year, counting the illegal streams. And somehow these gentlemen who are YouTube savvy figured out illegal streams as well, which we can't do. They figured out all that. Um, should we sign them? I, I would guarantee there's a, and it's going to hurt so many people's feelings. I guarantee there's a spark interest of signing Logan Paul to the UFC. Wow, that would be freaking nuts. Nuts by being terrible, yeah. Jim. Terrible. You're going down. You're going down such a slippery road, man. That's money, though. Damn, there that's you go. Money. See, that, that's the problem. I know it's money. Yeah, but you would ruin the sport 100%. for what it is. Uh, in the contract, is there anything that states what happens if he misses weight? Is like, is this all been taken care of beforehand? Oh uh, yeah. So what happens if he misses weight? You know I can't see the area. What? Can look back at the shirt though. What do you got? Oh, there he is. Oh, there you are. I thought that was another person. That's you. You read it. Where that says? That says goat. G O A T. Uh, greatest of all time. Hey. <laughs> so so there is a plan in place. Would you take the fight if he misses weight? Um. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, they're gonna have to. You gotta have to recognize that I'm chasing greatness here, and uh, I'm not. I'm not. I've had wins. I've had losses. I'm not chasing the victory. I'm chasing greatness. And um, if he doesn't make weight, he takes away from me the opportunity to add a fourth title defense on my, on my uh, resume. So he has to compensate me for that. Now it's one. It's one thing if that happens, but. Um, Usman has been saying, Kamar Usman has been saying, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm cutting away. Is that an official thing? Like, have you actually been told that if something it's happens? Official to who? I don't know. Is it a real thing yeah. or is it just Usman, something that he's doing? Usman, I respect you, brother. And I would definitely fight you. The funny thing is, me and Usman talk all the time. When it, when it comes down to respect and fighter, people I respect, me and Usman will fight at some point in time. And I'm with it. I'm with fighting him. I'm with fighting Mike Perry. All these dudes that I respect. I like a person that brings, you know, you know, true, true skill set to the table, and it's a true fighter. I'm with it all day, but I'm not going to fight you on those 24 hours notice, bro. I've been training for a six foot three striker softball, not a five foot ten switch stance. Negative. This I don't I don't do what I do the best because I win. I train, I prepare, I strategize, I break my money down to a molecule, and I drown them. I leave him empty. I take away all his gifts, and I snipe. I'm not gonna switch it up in five minutes. So, shout out to Usman. You cleaned up on a nice payday. So whatever they pay to make weight, kudos to you, my man. I, I'm kind of mad. Anybody ever paid me to make weight? I <laughs> thought making weight was a part of the deal. So in other so words, you're saying it, it, go go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm not fighting. No, I'm not. This this fight was already this fight was already on the created camp. Um, I'm the one that made this fight happen. It wasn't deal. I'm the one that stepped up and made this fight happen. So with that said, I'm a world champion. I deserve proper notice. I deserve proper time to prepare and train for a world title. I work so hard. I'm not going to step in. And, I'm not that guy. Go grab fucking um, Cowboy or somebody else that's willing to do that. I'm a professional and I'm a champion. So if he wants to fight me, it's going to be a full training camp. I will gladly take him up on the offer. But as far as if this dude miss weight, if he can't make weight, that ain't got shit to do with me. I'm tired of everybody else's. If Kobe needs an allergy pill, if this person like I'm, I'm not with that. I'm, I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm the professional. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to make weight. I'm going to put on the show, and that's what I'm controlling. So in other words, don't so even bother I'm, coming to it's Dallas. A zero, it's a zero. It's a zero percent chance. 
if Darren Till misses weight, I'm going to be fighting Usman. Zero. Better chance that you just fight him in, in a non-title fight? Is a better chance of me fighting Till in a non-title fight. Okay, wow. Um, That's what I'm prepared to do. Whether he's 176 or 170 on the die, he's still going to get that answer. 